What's up guys, it's Alex from Influenced LA here with another video for you today. Starting out today, we have big news regarding the status of Deadpool 3. Will Disney really let the movie release with an R rating? Apparently the answer is yes. Disney has actually been supportive of the idea of bringing Deadpool 3 to life as an R rated film under their banner. According to screenwriter Paul Wernick, quote, Deadpool is gonna be Deadpool. Wernick, who worked on the first two Deadpool films with 20th Century Fox, was also followed up by fellow co-writer Rhett Reese. Quote, they've been very supportive with regard to that. Reese also worked on the first two films as well, so both writers have a pretty good idea on how Ryan Reynolds wants the character portrayed. Reynolds, of course, is the actor who plays the hero on the big screen. He was a huge part in bringing the character to life, and one of the reasons it was a huge financial success. $783 million worldwide at the box office on the first film, and $785 million worldwide box office on the second one, it's easy to see why Disney is willing to not deviate from what is working. It will be directed by Sean Levy, who has directed Reynolds on recent films such as Free Guy and The Atom Project, which were both absolutely spectacular. So it does seem like everything is lining up for Deadpool 3 to be the film we want it to be. It will be fun to see the Merc with the Mouth make his way to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in what looks like what will be rated R fashion. I bet Ryan Reynolds is smiling ear to ear somewhere right about now. Speaking of Reynolds, he has done some really great work as of late, including a few hits on Netflix in the way of the previously mentioned The Atom Project and Red Notice. Netflix has continued to try and maintain composure in light of an estimated record high loss in subscription users. Stranger Things Season 4 has brought some relief to the situation as it smashed all sorts of previous streaming records including 287 million hours of watch time over its opening weekend premiere. And with a two episode finale plan for release on July 1st, it definitely seems Netflix has something to help with the retention of current subscribers. But time will tell if they can continue to deliver high quality entertainment. They officially had their second annual Netflix Geeked Week going on this week, and many announcements and reveals came out of the event. Most notably, we got two new official clips for the movies Spiderhead starring Chris Hemsworth and The Gray Man starring Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling, and they look fantastic. We also got an official teaser for Wednesday, the upcoming horror series that will be about Wednesday Adams of the Adams Family. Tim Burton is directing, so it will definitely be worth a watch. We also got an official trailer for Resident Evil. The new series is coming to Netflix, and it looks insanely terrifying. Netflix sure has their hands full as they try and maintain subscribers the rest of the year and beyond. But if some of these projects have any of the success that Stranger Things has had, Netflix will be sitting in a more comfortable spot than they currently find themselves in today. And to wrap things up today, we have some news and updates about Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Firstly, it needs to be known that you will see the Guardians in next month's movie, Thor Love and Thunder, as Thor was with the Guardians at the end of Avengers Endgame. We have also seen them briefly in official trailers for the movie, but how big their role is in the film remains to be seen. And that won't be the only time we see a Guardian this summer, as Disney Plus has a new original short series coming out called I Am Groot, which is scheduled to be five episodes premiering August 10th later this year. Everyone loves Groot, so it's not hard to imagine everyone will be flocking to Disney Plus to see more of him this August. And well for the Guardians in general, they finally have their third installment coming out next year in the form of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 slated for release May 5th, 2023. It is expected to be a swan song in many ways as some of the actors have alluded to this being their potential last ride together. If it is, it will be fun to see how they pull out all the stops to deliver one last great ride together for themselves and for the fans. We also found out some new casting news regarding the film the other day as James Gunn later did confirm himself that Daniela Melchior has joined the cast. She previously worked with Gunn on the Suicide Squad movie released last year where she played Ratcatcher 2 and absolutely crushed it. Her presence in Guardians Volume 3 will be interesting, especially considering her role is still undisclosed at the moment. We also had more casting news confirmed by James Gunn, and that was Maria Bakalova has been casted in a key role for the film. She is best known for her work in Borat's subsequent movie film. As we inch closer to next year's release, we wait with great anticipation to see our first glimpse at what this movie will look like. One thing to keep in mind too, is that Adam Warlock is still coming as well. 2023 can't get here quick enough. 
Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you on the next one. I'm your host, Alex with Influenced LA. And again, if you haven't, make sure to hit the subscribe, like, and bell notification to stay updated and not outdated. Down hard. Someday. Put it together. What are you doing? Dance off, bro. Me and you.